What's up survivalists? Malcolm here with Survival Know How and today we're building a dirt cheap axe throwing target. Stay tuned. Welcome back to the show guys. I put out content on about prepping, survivalism, and self-reliance. So if you're new here, hit that red subscribe button and stay current on my latest content. So I was recently out in Vegas and I went into an indoor axe throwing range. Man, I had so much fun there with throwing axes and, and knives and all kinds of great stuff. And I came home and I was like, all right, I'm down. I want to get into this sport and get into this hobby. Please, Dad. So I want to make just a dirt cheap axe throwing target today and that is my goal and I think I've got a plan of how I'm going to do that. Alright guys, so my goal for this build today is to make it for zero dollars, right? I'm a bit of a cheapskate, I want to make this on an ultra type budget. So to start off, I found this log on the side of the road, I saw it and I pulled over, I was like man that'll make a great axe throwing target. Ideally your log wouldn't be as rotten as this one, but also be a lot thinner. You don't need something this thick. But uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna work with what I got today. So I've got a thick log here. I've got some um, paracord here, and I went out into the woods and I, I kind of pre-cut down a couple of dead standing logs here. And these are all pretty thick as well because this this log is quite heavy. But I'm pretty confident that between paracord, a couple logs, and this old stump, I can MacGyver together a pretty decent axe throwing target. Let's go. All right guys, so I'm gonna start by lashing these three longs together. It's important, I don't wanna to lash too close to the top because I actually want a good portion of this to be sticking out uh, above where they actually meet so that it kind of holds the uh, the long together and stabilizes it. But again, it's, it's just all about those wraps and fraps, okay? So I'm gonna wrap this around the three longs several times, just kind of weave it in here. Then I'm gonna frap it, which is essentially you're wrapping around these seams here um, and you're really cinching them down. So here we go, I'm gonna do this five times. All right, so I got my five wraps in there and as you can see, it's still pretty loose and that's all right. So now what we're gonna do is fraps, which essentially you're wrapping around these wraps and you're really cinching them in there. And I'm gonna do that a few times. And you know, obviously this is not, none of this is really ideal. I, I should be making this much tighter, much more organized. These logs should not have this giant bow in it like this, but for, our purposes today, I think this is gonna work out just fine. All right, so there we go. We got a very sloppy looking uh, wraps and fraps. Let's prop this up and see how it turned out. All right, so let's throw this log up there and see how it turned out. Like I said, this thing's got some real weight to it, which is why I got these things planted. All right, so my theory is these things are gonna hold it up right. This is gonna take a lot of the weight right here. And there we go. That is, a, I think, pretty good axe on target, let's say. There you go. I'll take it. Oh, I like it. Time for the question of the day. What do you guys think about throwing knives? Are throwing knives a realistic uh, self-defense weapon? If you're looking for some kind of self-defense, should somebody get throwing knives? I really wanna know what you guys think about them. Leave your answer down in the comment section below this video. And if you're new here, make sure you hit that red subscribe button. I put out content all about prepping, survivalism, and self-reliance. And I'll see you over in the next video.